Hey guys, Corey here at Blackwood Woodworks. This is a shop update for March 2016. Well, I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers this month. We're at 650 and continuing to grow, which was awesome. And we're at about 10,000 views. So the support that you guys are just giving me is, is completely awesome. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's here. With that being said, I know a big part of my success, I need to thank a few other people. David Welder being one and Chris Cute being the other for their continued support of my channel. It always feels good talking to those guys and they're just so supportive. So if you can, go give them some love as well. So with the big influx of new subscribers, I just wanted to introduce myself. My name's Corey, I'm a hobbyist woodworker. I just enjoy building and having fun out in my shop and making things. What really tipped me over the edge to start this channel was I was visiting Jimmy's shop up in New York, Jimmy DiResta. And David Welder was down there and David really kind of molded my opinion of YouTube and, and how it was. He was talking about this community of people. I took the plunge and made my first YouTube video about nine months ago. And it's been nothing but good things since. So how did I get the name Black Widow Woodworks? Well, pretty interesting story. I started this channel off under a different name and it just wasn't putting out the persona that I wanted. I wanted this to be a making channel. And, and inspire others to make. So I have these clamps that have this channel in the middle of it and I was grabbing it off the wall and my fingers were in the channel like so pulling it off the wall and lo and behold I flipped it back over and about three inches away from my finger was a Black Widow and that's how the name Black Widow Woodworks was born. So a little bit of how this channel works. I have three different types of videos. I have project videos, shop updates, and meet the maker videos. The shop updates are on the first Tuesday of every month and it's a lot like this. It's just a talk video and we go over past projects, present, what's going on in the shop now, and then also future and what you can look to for the rest of the month. And that's just to give people a recap in case they miss something. Uh, also, what to get excited about. Project videos, those will fill up the rest of the Tuesdays of the month, so with a minimum of about three projects a month. And the shop update is there just to reset and clean the shop and get it ready for the next project. So the Meet the Maker series is an interview video where I go out and I interview a new maker every month and that'll be available on this channel around mid-month, usually on the 15th. I'm happy to announce that the maker this month will be Mr. Andy Berkey himself. That'll be a really fun video. All right, so without further ado, let's get back into the regular shop update. So last month videos that were uploaded, I did a Mother's Day pen and wooden flower, as well as a removable charging station and a T-Track drill press table. And the Meet the Maker for last month was Wes Swain. If you don't know Wes, Wes has a lot of skills. He's into casting, 3D printing, and electronics, as well as woodworking. So if you get a chance, go check out Wes. He is an excellent maker. So what's going on in the shop today? Well, I'm filming this shop update and cleaning the entire shop and getting it ready for next week's projects. I'm still on shop improvement. I've got about two more projects that I want to build to fix the shop up even better than it is now. And then I've got one big project coming up this month, which is going to be a miter station stickers this month. I got a few stickers in the mail. I'm going to have a friend drop those in and we'll get those put up on the board. Big thanks needs to go out to Zach Higgins. He sent me out some really cool pen blanks and I turned this one in some spare time and it's got pine cones embedded. They're really high quality blanks, and if you have never seen Zach's work, I suggest you go check him out over at nvwoodworks.com. I need, also need to thank Drew over at Ox in the Shop for sending me out this pen. He does really high quality work, and he also sent a sticker. Well, that's all I got for you guys this month. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday with a project video.